Well, by May, we'd all been uh, not only vaccinated, but fully vaccinated. And there was a general sense in the country that things were winding down vis-a-vis -vis, uh, COVID. There was a, a big push on to get everybody vaccinated. Uh, and our sense was that um, Still Hopes was about as vaccinated as, as, as anywhere was going to get. Uh, so although we'd been hunkered down like everybody else in the preceding months, it felt like a good time to move in. Uh, we, we noticed that, uh, that there was a sort of meticulous process with regard to outsiders coming in, everybody had to still wear masks. Um, the uh, the move-in process involved everybody being masked, everybody being vetted. Uh, there was a stringent um, entry system, which I believe is still in place uh, for people coming in. Well, the first thing was that we were already vaccinated uh, and we knew that. Uh, prior to that, we had been anticipating moving in here for several months. Uh, as, as you may know, that we did sign up over three years ago. So it's been a, a process of getting ready to move in and also to uh, getting used to the idea of a somewhat of a lifestyle change. We had communication, Still Hope has been, it's wonderful with communicating with residents and even residents to be. So we knew all of the things that were happening and what would be expected of us when we moved in and originally we thought we were going to have to be isolated after we moved in but because the pandemic had not ebbed but had slowed just a bit we did not have to isolate after we moved in which was a real gift because then we were able to be out and about and meet our neighbors and and become part of the community but still hopes has done a, a very good job of constant communication and they did as I said before, we moved in, which helped a lot.